What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Equalize Espresso, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're we'll talking about advanced warfare, more specifically, the mechanics of the game, both game overall and stuff that we could be seeing that will affect multiplayer. So, for my awesome friends out there that want to talk a bit about multiplayer, here we are. Now, I didn't mention this in my video yesterday, but for the duration of the weekend, I'll be on a little trip with my family, so my other videos are already made and ready and scheduled for upload. So, I can say that if you enjoy multiplayer, be sure you stay tuned for the next couple videos here. That's what we're mainly going to be focusing on. So we're going back a little bit in time to the E3 game footage behind the closed door stuff like that The stuff that we didn't see any general public That's our main focus here today Really it's nothing groundbreaking until a little bit later What was detailed there if you missed the news coverage of it were two missions biolab and collapse The missions in which you were infiltrating a chemical plant as well as the mission where you're stopping the KVA invasion on the Golden Gate Bridge All of which we've known about fully and that I even covered a little bit ago now along with this We reportedly saw some multiplayer gameplay intertwined in this this is something that a lot of people that saw this behind the closed doors footage actually were talking about stuff like that intrigues me a lot and when questioned about it apparently Condry and Schofield will dodge the question and just smirk at the idea not really confirming it verbally but doing a similar gesture to indicate that it was in fact multiplayer so that being said we got to look at the mechanics of the game because of this extra footage that nobody else saw in the general public something that I previously said about a month ago probably was that sliding is going to be back in the game that's confirmed no dolphin diving, but sliding will be back in the game. Personally, I think sliding is a lot more controllable, tactical, and overall useful compared to dolphin diving. Even though it was fun to just throw your body at a point in the map, sliding is a lot more useful, and it is something that has been confirmed. Now, another thing mechanic-wise is the sidestep mechanism, similar to the dodge maneuver. Like what Titans can do in Titanfall, even though I honestly hate comparing the two games, that's an accurate depiction of what it's like. We personally saw this in the induction level, the gameplay that was shown at E3, so that itself is very cool feature as well now this is where it gets groundbreaking and I really hate doing this regurgitating someone else's information but unknown player brought up the boost jump in the game and it's something that not a lot of people really covered or talked about but it's a heavily brand new feature that's gonna be used in the game what it was like he said is almost a fluent jump but also that you'd be able to reach second stories of buildings now this is where it can be kind of a concern shooting at somebody they just randomly will shoot up in the air that could be a bit bad for gameplay but here's the thing I doubt that it'll be that easy. Something like that wouldn't be too overpowered to be in the game. Sliding was something that a lot of people were worried about as well. They thought it would be too OP for the game, but look at it now. Sliding is still very easy to kill someone with while they're doing it. Sure, you'll have to adjust your aim a bit, but the concept is pretty much the same. Personally, I think it's kind of revolutionary. It adds a whole new level of verticality into the maps, and we're gonna be talking about that in a little bit's time, but not at this moment. I personally think that it'll add to the smaller and medium-sized maps. The vertical play would be a very cool addition to the game so I'm kind of welcoming any boost jumps now on the flip side before we end this if there is a boost jump we can use that boost to break our fall something that we saw in the induction gameplay as well this looks like a recharge ability from what it looked like to me and personally I think that it could be the same thing for the jumps as well regardless this would allow a lot of people to break their falls and that would be huge so many times do I die because of fall damage I'm not paying attention and I'm just getting out of a gunfight and it's something so annoying so to see that would be absolutely awesome and would add to a whole new level of play so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below about these new mechanics that we discussed here today that's been my time ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching if you did like the video please leave a like ring down below any shares to your facebook twitter and or myspace if you're OG like that or it's greatly appreciated if you're new here be sure to subscribe for the best of call of duty advanced warfare content any new information you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel thank you guys once again so much for watching my name is been Nicola espresso as always if you guys are having a great day i should see you guys tomorrow take care and peace Surprise, motherfucker.